what you heard happen? How did this all start? Uh, my father was at a, a, a little pub down on Orange Avenue. His car, his car was being towed. He went across the street to take care of that, talk to the, the, the driver. And um, I'm not sure, because I wasn't there, so I'm not sure exactly what happened. But uh, he was taken down by a police officer uh, into the concrete, and it uh, broke his neck. Talk about, um, you've talked to the bar owner, you've spoken with some folks who saw what happened. Correct. Uh, when you're hearing these things that he was possibly violently slammed to the ground, uh, OPD says that he was being drunk and belligerent, and they had to uh, subdue him. Uh, you're hearing these mixing things. What's going through your mind uh, hearing about the circumstances? He's an 85-year-old, pretty frail old man. He's not, uh, I mean, he's, he's just, you know, he's not necessarily skin and bones, but he's not, you know, a muscular type guy. Um, war veteran, to be handled like that just seems way beyond what should happen. I, I wasn't there, I don't know. But um, from what the, the surgeons have told me at the hospital, he, uh, nine out of ten people that, that suffer this injury don't make it past the moment of impact, so... I'm concerned. Uh, you said your dad's actually um, conscious and he's able to speak. With he is. Technology. Luckily, uh, he, you can hardly understand. It's not very discernible because he has a neck collar on. He has tubes down him. You, a couple things. Where was my car? Are you taking care of it? Is my dog okay? You know, I mean, there's not much, you know, other than, uh, you know, he's he's in pain. So, Are you angry at all? I am. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure how to handle it. I've never been in this situation before. I'm not sure how to handle it. I'm, con I'm extremely concerned, after, especially after, you know, what the doctors tell me, uh, you know, the survival rate of something like this is. Well, I, of course I'm concerned. It's my pop. What did they tell you as far as his condition? And, and you said you were surprised by what they said. They yeah, were surprised. right, right. Well, right now, he's not um, paralyzed. He has movement of his arms, fingers, hands. Everything moves. He can speak. Um, they said that they feel good about that. So I'm um, going into tomorrow, he, uh, there's two specialists going to see him tomorrow morning, and uh, he definitely has to have surgery to correct this, and he's not out of the, uh, out of the woods yet. So, um, if, if this was a, a situation where maybe not the right thing, or maybe your father wasn't handled the right way, um, where do you go from there with that? That I don't know. Never been in this type of situation. I'm not sure where to go. That's uh, I'm gonna have to ask questions. I'm really not sure. How does it make you feel? About uh, in how he was handled. Uh, anger. You know, anxiety, uh, pain. It's my dad. I mean, I just don't. I don't understand. An 85 year old man. No warning. I mean, I wasn't there. Again, I wasn't there. But the severity of his injuries. Uh, just seem as though it was just overwhelming amount of power used to take him down like that. He's he's a frail old guy. What kind of man is he? Oh, he's a great guy. I mean, you know, uh, he was in World War II, two tours of Vietnam, uh, just well liked in the community. Got a lot of friends. Um, I, I, just a great guy. Uh, so what what's kind of the situation as far as? Um, in the hospital. They told you a timeline? No, happen? no timeline as far as that is concerned. The only thing that I know right now is uh, tomorrow morning, definitely surgery. There's two specialists coming in, um, and they will go from there. Uh, I'll still call them at 9. Do you think uh, he's been charged with battery on an officer? Do I hadn't heard that. Uh, that's, well, that's from the Orlando Police Department. Right, right. Um, where do you go from there, and, and what's kind of, is your dad talked about what happened himself at all? No, he, not to where you could understand what he's trying to say. No, other than, you know, he hurts, um, he's angry. You know, he doesn't understand why that happened either. And again, uh, for that old of a guy to be taken down like that just seems excessive to me. I, I don't know, I just, you know, I know my pop, and he's not, a, you know, you could push him down, you know. I mean, he's not, he's just, he's not, he's an 85-year-old guy. What's the way? I'm not sure exactly.